Welcome back to the channel. I am really glad you're here and you're going to be too because I'm going to show you a tool that I just bought. Something I've been wanting for such a long time but I finally got one and I already love it. So if you're even a moderate DIYer when it comes to electrical work, you're going to want to see this. Welcome to my cluttered garage. You know I'm really glad you're here. Yeah. If you've ever been in a situation where you're trying to turn off a breaker so that you can fix an outlet or replace a light and you have to have help from somebody to yell when you hit the right breaker or you've got to plug a radio in and then turn off each breaker until the radio shuts off. You know how frustrating that is. And for me, I usually turn off three quarters of the house before I find the right breaker. It's just very, very frustrating. So this is the tool. It's the Klein ET310. It's a digital circuit breaker finder and it works so great. You'll be able to find the right breaker the first time, every time. And it's actually more than just that tool. It's a couple tools in one. Klein designed this very, uh, it's kind of modular. Uh, it's got this plug on the back. They have a handy storage area for it by having it plug into the back of the unit. And then you've got this piece that plugs into the outlet. This is the uh, transmitter, uh, but it's also an outlet tester. And I'll show you how that works in just a minute. And then this side is the one you use with your breaker panel to find the right breaker. So let's go plug this into an outlet and then I'll show you how this works on the panel. Let's use this outlet as our example. Let's say we want to find the breaker that controls this outlet or feeds this outlet. All we do is we take the transmitter from the client tool we plug it in and that shows us a couple of things. First of all, it lights up so we know that there's already power to the outlet. It also has these two yellow light indicators and there's a key on top to show you what all the different lights mean. But this tells us that the outlet is wired properly. So we've got the transmitter plugged in. Now we take the receiver over to the breaker box and we find the breaker. Let's go. Now before you approach the breaker box, you want to turn on the receiver, just a simple button on top, and it starts to beep. Now I don't know why, but you're supposed to turn this on away from the breaker box. So when you approach the breaker box, you take the receiver and you hold it so that the tip is perpendicular to the breakers. You touch the first breaker, just lightly, and you run down the breakers. And you want to do this twice. You do it once so that it learns the panel. And you'll hear some different beeps there, and you ignore those the first time. But then the second time is when you listen for a change. When you get close to the breaker, that green light will start to beep faster, which means you're getting closer. Oh, there we are. And when you get to the breaker, you can see that the green light goes out and it lights up red. Now you can do this a couple times if you want to just be sure that there's no interference and you definitely have the right breaker. but it's pretty clear that that's the breaker. Now, I actually spoke with a Klein tool technician on the phone because I wanted to make sure that I was explaining this thing properly. And I learned that there is one potential problem, and that is if you have any surge protectors. Certain surge protectors can send out a signal that interferes with the transmitter, with the receiver. So it's recommended that you unplug any surge protectors before using this unit. Klein also makes available this separate accessory kit, which I opted for. It includes three pieces. The first is just this simple two-prong to three-prong adapter. You probably have several of these laying around in your junk drawer. It also has a basic uh, light socket to outlet or plug adapter, and you can connect these two together. What I didn't have was this wire with the two alligator clips, and the other end has a plug on it. And what that does, it allows you almost any configuration to be able to plug in the transmitter and use it in almost any 120 volt scenario. Notice I did say standard 120 volt circuits, and that's because this unit is only made for that. It's not made for and does not work with 220 volt or 230 volt circuits. Now let's take this transmitter upstairs and I'll show you one more cool feature. Klein built in some extra functionality into this transmitter. When you plug this into an outlet, 
you'll see there are three lights here and they light up in different sequences. You can use the key here to see what those sequences mean. You might have an open ground or you might have your wires mixed up or best case it'll show you that you're wired properly. And then there's this button on top and what that does it's a GFCI tester. Now let's plug the transmitter into this GFCI outlet. First thing we see are these two lights which indicate that we are wired properly. And then when you press the button on the top, it tests and trips out the GFCI outlet. Now you might ask, why do I need that if I have this test button on the outlet itself? Well, there's a good reason for that. Let me show you. For example, this looks like a standard outlet, but it's wired into another GFI outlet, which gives this outlet ground fault protection. But the only way we can test that is to plug this transmitter into this outlet. And when we press the test button, it should trip the GFI that this one is connected to. Well, that should give you a basic overview of how the Klein Tools Digital Circuit Breaker Finder works. And believe me, it does work. I don't know why I waited so long to get one of these things. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed to the channel, I invite you to join us. If you want one of these for yourself, there's a link in the description. It's an affiliate link, which means it'll give a little commission to the channel. Won't cost you any more to do so, but it helps us out a bit. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.